Hi. In this capsule, we are going to learn about the price to earnings ratio or PE ratio. This is simply the number you get after dividing the stock's price by its earnings per share. This ratio is also sometimes known as the price multiple or the earnings multiple. The PE ratio indicates the amount an investor is ready to pay for each rupee of that company's earnings. A high PE ratio suggests that the stock is overvalued and investors are expecting higher returns in the future. A low PE ratio can indicate either that a company may be undervalued or that the company performance is poor. The PE ratio works best when they are used to compare companies in the same sector or the stock of one company over different periods of time. How are PE ratios calculated? Let's say a company you want to invest in is currently trading at 200 rupees and has 1 lakh outstanding shares. It declares its earnings over the past 12 months at rupees 10 lakhs. Its earning per share or EPS is 10 rupees and its PE ratio for the stock calculated as 200 divided by 10 comes to 20. Generally, there are two variations to the PE ratio. The trailing PE ratio uses the earnings of the last 12 months while the forward PE ratio uses the expected earnings for the next 12 months. As this requires estimating the forward earnings, it is prone to estimation errors. Do PE ratios have limitations? Of course yes. It works well for valuation, but don't rely on the ratio to evaluate potential returns from different investments. Remember. It is just one of the metrics that can provide insights into investment decisions. Investment in securities market are subject to market risk. Read all related documents carefully before investing.